kusafishwa safishwa alafu maisha iwe mzuri mpya na kwa hivyo ulikumbuka kuita wachungaji na walikuja na waliomba na wakakubariki na mimi nasema tunaendelea na wazo hilo hatutachoka kumwambia Mungu asante tulisema wakati huo na tunasema leo na tutaendelea kusema kongoi jehova amen so it is good for men to thank god for people to praise god to praise him for his goodness the goodness of, of god is so great it surpasses our understanding and we also thank him for his wonderful works to the children of men there is something in the atmosphere today in baringo in this county and beyond even in the republic of kenya that thrills the hearts of men women youth and children the success god gave you and all of us sets the blood as tire from which no doubt we have all come to infer thanksgivings here today so we love thanksgiving services and we love to praise and thank god for his deeds his deeds to us it is a time of remembrance in our personal and collective lives today when we come to say what did god do what did god do during that period of time what has god continued to do from that day of success up to now ni nini mungu amefanya so we recall the blessings from a few months ago that he cared for you he cared for you people we 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 recall during your campaigns that you were under siege at many you know during many many occasions but he cared for you he watched over you he took you through thick and thin dangerous places dangerous times he stood by you he took you through that process he protected you he gave you his protection the angels of god surrounded you wherever you went and that is why we got that victory his provisions also for that task that was his provisions to you throughout the campaign period we cannot take it for granted we feel new gratitude for the masses of the present and we should be thankful for his achievement and success we thank god for answered prayers the prayers of these people the prayers of these servants of god and the entire congregations of churches and people who cared to pray we thank god for those prayers released us from from dangers it helps helps us also find comfort during trouble and it gives us renewed strength for each day so we want to pray even today that now that you are in power that now our the government is there we want to pray that god will continue to strengthen you to give you wisdom to give you strength every day you wake up you have you have his blessings you wake up prepared to carry the burden the burden of this nation it's not easy it's not simple when we see people speaking speaking things that are not good or well thought things that are not proper we feel hurt all of us because 